Donald Trump's close advisor, Sean Hannity, has a new message to any witness thinking about cooperating with Bob Mueller. Don't be a snitch. If you're like me and you grew up to revere an FBI agent and the FBI comes to your house and maybe some crime took place in the neighborhood and maybe you have a little bit of information, but you don't quite fully recall everything, but you're pretty sure you do. The advice I have to give you now is don't talk to the FBI. Wow. That's Sean Hannity giving out advice to his large audience saying, my advice, don't reveal, Hannity says, what you know about potentially crimes that were committed. It is a remarkable turnaround for Sean Hannity. In fact, I want to show you this because it's important. He was a big public critic of a so-called stop snitching effort or the kind of rhetoric that in some areas where people were perceived as discouraging others from cooperating with police investigations. It's called the Stop Snitching Campaign, and it is taking urban communities by storm. The purpose? Do not cooperate with police on a crime that you witness, no matter how bad. And the result is crimes across America are going unsolved. And what makes this movement more disturbing is that this backroom code of silence is being marketed by big corporations and fueled by the rap music industry. Hannity railing against what he called their stop snitching. And, of course, saying, in his view, this was not what he's doing now. I mean, he would be the leader of this movement today, if you want to call it that. But he said this was all coming not from him, but from urban communities. If people are dying in the streets in our cities, and people are witnessing these crimes, and there is a concerted effort not to tell the police or cooperate with the police, that's a phenomenon we better pay attention to. Or else I agree more innocent people I, are going to die. Big deal. Now, Hannity is telling people not to snitch, echoing Trump's recent praise of Roger Stone for saying he won't testify against Trump. I'm joined by Jason Johnson, politics editor at TheRoot.com. Uh, Jason, what do you make of this drastic, public, hypocritical, obvious change of heart? Uh, well, first off, it, it, it shows that Sean Hannity really doesn't know his history of hip hop because this all started because he was angry at Cameron for talking about stop snitching when it comes to the police. But even Cameron said that that stems from a legitimate distrust uh, of, of the police and law enforcement. Sean Hannity has no reason to distrust law enforcement. He has no reason to distrust the FBI, except for the fact that he's wrapped up in the same sort of corrupt business that Michael Cohen and the president's involved in. So, you know, he's not a snitch. He's not a witness in this situation. He is going to snitch, and that's why he's telling he doesn't want other people to come forward. Uh, it is really remarkable. Uh, and why do you think that Sean Hannity believes he can get away with this? In other words, uh, if he wants to openly encourage people not to cooperate with the feds, uh, including his own former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who had that weird role of, of being allegedly right. a Hannity and Trump lawyer, which Hannity didn't disclose to his audience, uh, this is all public. So don't you think Hannity's own viewers and followers are going to find out about this? Yeah, they will eventually. And, and look, you know, Ari, honestly, one of the main reasons Sean Hannity thinks he can do this is because he's a rich white guy. Mm. And, and he has seen throughout his life that the government uh, and members of this administration will protect him whatever engage whatever behavior he wants to engage in. But I, I got to go back to, to what Cameron actually said, which started to begin with. Cameron changed his mind last year, went on the air and said, look, snitches get riches. OK, at this particular point in time, there is a value in actually snitching on this presidency. These people are going to jail. There are orange jumpsuits coming. So Sean Hannity can tell people, hey, don't snitch, don't work with the FBI. Maybe he's protected. But I don't think that applies to Papadopoulos. It clearly didn't apply to Manafort. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other people are going to go down, especially if they listen to Hannity. It's a great point. And given that Hannity is so closely affiliated with Trump, how often they talk, how much they align, right. uh, this is even bigger than media hypocrisy. It relates to someone who, who has the president's ear. I want to read a little more of this and, and ask you if you think this is channeling Donald Trump's legal approach at this point. Hannity saying, never talk to, in spite of your love of law enforcement, FBI, don't talk to them ever without the advice of legal counsel, because if you say the wrong thing, you're in legal jeopardy and they throw your blank in jail. Uh, and I wonder about this sort of selective uh, alleged civil libertarianism right. that we're seeing from the from parts of, of the Fox News, Donald Trump supporting groups. 
Right. These are the same people who would constantly lecture everybody in this country. Hey, look, if you're not doing anything wrong, why would you ever lie to the police? But it shows that at their core, Sean Hannity, uh, many of the people who work at Fox and lots of people who are in the, the, the White House right now, they don't believe in the rule of law. They only believe in their own power. If Donald Trump hadn't done anything wrong, his son wouldn't be afraid right now. If Donald Trump hadn't done anything wrong, then Manafort and 20 other people connected to him wouldn't be going to jail. And if Sean Hannity wasn't knee deep in the muck and then the swamp that he has railed against as much as he happens to be, he'd keep his mouth quiet right now. But he's mm. not going to because he's just as dirty and guilty as the people he's trying to defend. Well, it's, it's a very important piece of this uh, because of his links to the president and because of the public record. Uh, and, and that's why we wanted right. to put a spotlight on it, because it's one thing to have a position that you're more or less skeptical of this or that group. Uh, plenty of reporters, plenty of lawyers have those views. Um, but for it to be so mm -hmm. blatant, the way he talked about, quote, urban yes. communities, the way he tried to put people on blast for snitching in the now uh, for that stop, so-called stop snitching effort and now doing this. I mean, it's just out there for everyone to see. Uh, Jason Johnson, we always appreciate you coming by the beat. Thanks, Ari. Thank you, sir. Up ahead, Speaker Ryan preparing to leave Congress. My special